private pilot, commercial pilot, airline transport pilot, instrument rating, recreational pilot, sport pilot. What's the difference between all of them and what can you do with each one? Let's start with the private pilot certificate and the other ones that people get most often and then we'll go into some of the less common ones. Think of the private pilot license like your driver's license, but for the sky. It usually takes about 40 to 70 hours of flight time to get your private pilot certificate, and it allows you to take your buddies up in the air. You can fly for fun, transportation, practice, but basically there's no way for you to make money as a private pilot. You can't even let your friends pay for more than their share when they fly with you. So for example, if you take three of your friends flying, you will personally have to cover at least 25% of the operating costs for that flight. An instrument rating is typically the next thing that people get after their private pilot certificate. It authorizes you to fly in the clouds with reference only to the aircraft's flight instruments no outside reference or anything visible. Even if you never plan to fly in the clouds, you should get your instrument rating, and here's why. It only takes about 40 hours to complete and could be a literal lifesaver if you ever get disoriented or end up in a situation with little to no visibility. Next up, let's talk about commercial pilots. You're probably thinking of these guys. This is your captain speaking. I hope you're enjoying your flight today. But pilots with a commercial certificate are not the ones that are actually flying airliners. Having a commercial pilot certificate only means that you're allowed to earn money while flying. But even then, there's a lot of limitations. So think more along the lines of these guys. You're gonna need a minimum of 250 flight hours to become a commercial pilot, and then you can start applying for some flying jobs or even use your own airplane to make some money. If you're gonna go that route with your own airplane, make sure to check out the Federal Aviation Regulations Part 119.1E for the full list of everything that you can do as a commercial pilot and get paid. To actually fly for an airline, you're gonna need your airline transport pilot certificate. It takes 1,500 hours to get your airline transport pilot certificate, although there are some exceptions. If you earn an aviation degree through an approved college, these programs allow you to get your airline transport pilot certificate or your ATP as low as 1,250 or even 1,000 flight hours. Now the airline world has its own set of federal aviation regulations and requires intensive training far beyond what most commercial pilot jobs entail. So the ATP certificate authorizes you to fly these large airplanes carrying dozens, sometimes even hundreds of people while working in a very unique environment. When you first get hired by an airline, you're gonna be working in a two pilot crew as a first officer. After a few years with the airline, you'll probably have the opportunity to upgrade to a captain position, taking on additional responsibilities and increasing your earnings. So let's backtrack now and take a look at some of the less common certificates that you can get as a pilot. A recreational pilot certificate is a lot like a private pilot certificate, but with more restrictions. The flight time requirements for a recreational pilot certificate are technically less. However, the reality is that to become proficient enough to pass a recreational pilot certificate checkride, you'll probably need just about as many flight hours as you would to just take your private pilot certificate checkride. As a recreational pilot, you're subject to many of the same limitations as a private pilot, such as you can't get paid to fly, and the least that you can pay for flight operating costs is your portion, depending on the number of people that are flying with you. But you're also limited in these other ways. You can only carry one passenger, you can't fly an aircraft with more than one engine, and the most powerful aircraft that you can fly is something with a 180 horsepower engine. You can't fly anything with retractable landing gear. You can't fly in furtherance of your own business, which you can do as a private pilot, meaning flying for certain things like business meetings and so on. You can only fly during the daytime and in good weather conditions, and you'll need an endorsement from an authorized instructor allowing you to fly at any towered airport. The next step in more restrictive pilot certificates is that of a sport pilot. The privileges and limitations of a sport pilot are nearly identical to a recreational pilot, but there's even more. A sport pilot has the added limitation that they can only fly a light sport aircraft. This means an aircraft that has a maximum gross weight of 1,320 pounds or less, has only two seats, and has a maximum airspeed of 120 knots. So which certificate is right for you? Well, if you wanna be an airline pilot someday, then you'll probably wanna go the route of getting your private pilot certificate, instrument rating, commercial pilot certificate, and then airline transport pilot certificate. For the full process of how to become an airline pilot, check out my previous video where I go over it step by step.
Now, if you don't wanna fly airliners, but you do wanna be a commercial pilot and earn money while flying, the typical route is very similar. Get your private pilot certificate, get your instrument rating, get your commercial pilot certificate, and then start applying for jobs. Now, if you're just planning to fly for fun, you can do it with just your sport pilot or recreational pilot certificate. However, I recommend getting your private pilot certificate. You're gonna have lots more freedom and privileges, and it takes about the same amount of flight time to become proficient anyways. Are you working on your pilot training right now? Tell me where you're at in your training in the comments below and any questions that you have. Subscribe to the Pilot Pro channel to get more relevant content like this, and I'll see you in the next one.